Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Allen Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily make a drop down menu in Adobe XD. I'll just begin by selecting my rectangle tool and then just making my drop down shape. And then I'll grab my text tool and then just add some text. And I'll just title this option one. And then I'll just add a little drop down icon here and I'll just make this smaller. So with my line tool, I'll just make a little arrow and also holding shift so it's down on a 45 degree angle. And then I'll just group that with Commander Control G. So now to actually prototype our drop down menu so we can click on it, let's just highlight everything, right click and group, and then make sure it's all highlighted. And then in our properties panel here, you want to select the plus icon where it says component. So now this is our default state. And for however many options you have, that's how many closed states you want and how many open states you want. So if I have three options, I wanna duplicate this three times and then just title that option one, two, and three. And then I'll make my first uh, open option. So let's just title that open. Open option one. And now just to make it easier on yourself, you want to try and duplicate elements that are already within your component. So for example, if I want um, a square shape for my drop down menu, I just will double click on this shape and then hold option or alt on my keyboard and drag that down uh, with shift. So it drags it down proportionally or in a straight line. And then I'll just right click that and then send that to back. So that is just behind our drop down and let's just expand this so we can add some more text so again we want to copy the text that's already within our component so by holding option or alt and dragging down my text and then I'll just shrink this and then rename these options so as you see when I click on this uh, option one open Obviously, as you see, it's open. Let's just duplicate this three more times for all of our open options. So now let's switch between our open options and then just rearrange the order of the options. So our open option two will be open option two up at the top. And same for three, option three will be at the top. And then we just don't want to forget to rename our options one to three while they're closed. So now as you see when I scroll through, we have all of our options that we need. So now let's actually get to prototyping that. So we're in our design tab, let's switch over to prototype and then go to our default state and just click on this whole element and <laughs> this little arrow here so we can I like to personally uh, choose the destination in the side panel here so let's just go ahead and go to open option one so if we go to open option one this is where um, the closed option one will take us and then we can go ahead and click on our options here and just choose which destination we want so uh, I'll click on option two that little arrow there and then change that to option two which is going to be closed option two so now if we go back to option two click on this arrow and then make this um, open option two as the destination so now when we go to open option two click on this text just kind of repeat that process for the entire drop down so I'll just fast forward and you can kind of watch as I do this. So let's go ahead and press play so we can try this out. Just wanna make sure that it's on the default state. So 
drop down, option two, option two is closed, open option two, option three, option three closed. And yeah, you get the point. That is how you can easily make a drop down menu in Adobe XD. If this video helped, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.